So, I've been seeing this uh, Herders at my local Bass Pro. It's usually the cheapest ammo that they have on the shelf. But it's their in-house ammo. Full metal jacket, 115 grain. I'm going to compare it to this Norma uh, 115 grain full metal jacket as well. It's what I usually shoot. <clears throat> Very consistent, good ammo. So, I'm going to be testing uh, just the velocity today. Just to see what we get. Um, I don't have... Uh, the accoutrement to test accuracy but we will be shooting some uh 10 inch plates with each and just see what kind of groupings we can get maybe i'm going to be using my glock 19 and my nine millimeter pcc build with the eight and a half inch barrel so we'll be able to see the difference uh between these two and between the two barrel sizes as well so yeah let's get to it Okay, so now we'll be doing the Herters ammo first with the Norma ammo second, five rounds of each on the chronograph down there. We're going to see what kind of velocities we get. They're both, like I said, full metal jacket, both brass case. Um, so yeah, it looks like it looks like the Herters is loaded into Winchester brass, as you can see there. So they're using good brass at least. So let's go with the five rounds of herder first. Let's see what kind of velocities we get. Okay, now we're on to our Norma. Actually, this is our last herders and then we're on to our Norma. Twelve seventy-three. Now we're on to our Norma. Thirteen forty. Twelve eighty. Twelve eighty-four. 1332, last one. 1260. And she locked back. Love this thing. On six. Okay, same thing now, but now from uh, Glock 19. And uh, we're going to do herders first, Norma second, five rounds of each on the chronograph. So here we go. Eleven thirty-five. On to our Norma now. Eleven fifty. Eleven fifty-seven. Eleven 
error so we get a duplicate on the first and an error on the second so we'll just use the four from each one okay now we got 10 rounds of the Bass Pro Herters and uh, I got I'm gonna send five rounds through my PCC first and then five rounds through the Glock 19 just gonna try and get some groups on this large plate here you know it's not gonna be extremely precise but we'll get an idea of uh, kind of how well it groups from you know about eight seven eight yards or so so let's do it That was five rounds out of the PCC. Five rounds out of the Glock 19 now. Stacked a couple of those right on top of each other, so I'd say that's pretty damn good for the herders let's load up some norma okay norma now five out of the pcc five out of the glock 19 same plate Good to me. Clock 19. I'll put the group on the bottom of the plate. Our first group out of the PCC, five shots. Our second group out of the Glock with the Norma. Uh, I really do love Norma ammo. I've been shooting it since I started shooting. I usually can find it for the best deal online as well. Um, it's always feeds. I never have issues with it. And it's always accurate and reliable. It's great ammo. The Herders is also good. Uh, actually, the herders did very well. We had no feeding issues with it at all. The accuracy was great. As far, I'm going to crunch the numbers on the velocities, but as far as I can tell now, the velocities were very, very close and very similar. Um, both brass case, they both fed, had no issues, no light primer strikes, which has been happening with different ammos lately. So uh, all in all, I think for the price, I think I got that box of 50 for $17.99, which was about three or $4 less than everything else they had at Bass Pro that day. So I think it's a good, it's a good deal. If you see it there, definitely give it a shot. I think it's worth it. It's, it's comparable to Norma. I'm sure if I had some other offerings out here that were, you know, decent ammo, decent loadings, it would be comparable to, to those as well. So um, I would say go for the herders. It's a good deal and it's a good buy, great value. All right, that's direct infringement. It's our video for today. We're out. You didn't think I'd just leave you without a couple mag dumps.
Glock 19.